let's attempt to find the square of a number that ends with 25. An example would be 225, or 325, or 725, or 1025. Let's attempt to find square of these numbers in our head. Let's look at the first one, 225. What you're going to do, you are going to focus on the first digit of the number. In this case, that's 2. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to divide this 2 by 2. And what do you get when you divide by 2? You get 1. Second thing you're going to do, you're going to square this number, in this case 2. 2 squared gives you 4. Third thing you're going to do, you're going to add this number and this number up. So 1 plus 4, you're going to get a 5. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to multiply this by 10, which gives you a 50, and you're going to always, always put 625 in the end. Let, let me review this. First thing, you're going to take this number, in this case 2. Second thing, the, the first thing you're going to divide it by 2. Second thing, you're going to square it. Third thing, you're going to add the results of these computations up, multiply it by 10, and put 625. Let's look at the second one, 325. Well, the first one, 3 over 2 gives you 1.5. And second thing, 3 squared gives you 9. And what happens when you add them up? You get 10.5. And since you're multiplying by 10, that's going to give you 105. And in the end, you are always going to put 625. Let's look at the next one. 725 squared. Well, First step, 7 over 2, 7, 7 over 2 is 3.5, and 7 squared is 49. 49 plus 3.5 is 52.5, multiply by 10, that gives you 525, and you are going to put 625 in the end. The last one, let's try to do this in our head. You got 10, you, s you divide by 2, you are going to get a 5. You square 10 and you get 100. 100 plus 5 is 105. And you're going to multiply it by 10. And you're going to put 625 in the end.